Hello, No Nation. Scott Carson here with you guys on another episode of Note Night in America. Honored to have you joining us here on your Monday evening. And if you're ready to dominate the fourth quarter, then you're in the right spot tonight. So uh, once again, thank you guys for joining us. We have these calls just about every Monday. We have been on a two-week hiatus uh, with a holiday and uh, taking a week off after a, a hectic couple days of uh, business. Really excited about what the future holds for us out here, though, as we dive into what's going on here as we roll into the fourth quarter here in the next couple of weeks. But anyway, we are recording this. Did I hit the record button? Let's make sure I hit the record. Yeah, hit the record button. <laughs> uh, are recorded. These calls are recorded. You can always check out the replays by going to weclosenotes.tv and clicking on the Note Night in America uh, playlist. Uh, while you're there, make sure you hit the subscribe button to our YouTube channel so that you are always up to date on the different trains and videos that we upload. Just in case we can't live stream it one night, you can catch the replays or you're away from it. So make sure you subscribe out there and always also check out our podcast. We've uploaded the last couple of Note Night in America's on the Note Night in America podcast, along with uh, new episodes coming out on our uh, 50 megawatt blowtorch podcast, the Note Closer Show. So thank you for all those that listen to us out there, the 30 million plus listeners, uh, and, and just absolutely love you. Thank you for continuing to show up, continuing to download and listen, and continuing to leave comments. So uh, you can always check out our episodes, podcasts, and everything else, but if you go to weclosenotes.com out there. But um, I have a, a little bit of update. This coming Saturday, this Saturday from 9 to 5, we have our next Note Weekend Workshop, our one-day class this Saturday. You can get signed up at noteweekend.com. Um, I'm really excited about it as we roll into the more uh, the, the more closer we get to the end of the year, the more exciting it's getting. I have to tell you, this has been a, a great couple of weeks here. Um, made some great offers on Friday with some, a couple other investors on and looking forward to what the results are. But literally, so many of us, we want to dominate this fourth quarter. And if you have not um, – oh, I went back. I didn't want to go back. But anyway – before we dive in, you know, obviously football is back. High schools in its third week of games. College is in its second or first week of games now, depending on who you're rooting for. Or no week of games if you're Big Ten or Pac-12 or whoever. But for a lot of people, the NFL's back. And for many people, you're used to seeing at the end of the third quarter, start of the fourth quarter, people raise their hands high that they dominate the fourth quarter. Many people don't know what that means. I actually was talking to someone like, why, why do people raise that? And they're not from here in the United States that might be part of it. But I was like, that's because they plan on dominating the fourth quarter, that all the work that they have done prior to this, the hours of training, the hours of working out, of eating right, lifting, practice, the hours of repetition leads to them holding and knowing that they're going to dominate the fourth quarter. Games are won in the fourth quarter with comebacks and things like that taking place. So you can dominate the fourth quarter as well. Uh, and we're already starting to see no deals, ladies and gentlemen. I'm actually a little bit surprised on the amount of some residential stuff that we're seeing. I didn't think it, we'd see it till the fourth quarter, but they're already getting lists out to us uh, over the last couple of weeks. So we're already starting to see note deals. And I'm, not, I'm, I'm really surprised at the pricing. Non-performing note deals, somewhere in the 40 to 50% of UPB range. These are notes that are probably, uh, well, 150 days, 100, 180 days in default. Um, and beyond like that. So really, really excited about that with good looking properties, not contract for deeds, not lease options. These are really beautiful properties and some of the things that we're seeing out there, 100K plus to 400K and beyond. Uh, I mean, we've seen some million dollar properties that they're looking to move. Uh, California assets, Texas assets, uh, Florida assets in good range. And we've, we've seen some higher fair market values than on the single family properties, but those are the ones that we primarily look, have looked at. We've seen commercial notes. I've seen some residential. I've, I've seen, sorry, mixed use. I've seen some apartments. Some stuff coming in, some hotel stuff. I was on the phone with a asset manager at IBC Bank here in Texas on a hotel deal that we were talking back and forth on. So I've, I've seen a lot of stuff now. If you have not been putting the work in, you've not been marketing, if you've not been reaching to banks, what the heck are you waiting for? Okay, if you're looking for deals, you can't afford to wait around anymore, everybody. This is serious. You've got to make this a daily habit of doing something. I don't I care if you're working full-time. I get it. If you're working full-time, you can't pick up the phone and dial for dollars. I totally understand it. But you can jump on LinkedIn. You can do an email blast out. I was on the phone a couple of days ago with a head of PNC special assets manager. And I'm just amazed. They are literally taking phone calls. I've talked to people they've been trying to get into for years. And they're like, okay, what are you looking for? 
<laughs> but I, I'm, I'm serious about this. You cannot afford to wait around and wait till the perfect timing. The perfect timing is right dab, smack dab now. We're going to be taking action to make things done. I've spent more time in the last three months on marketing, on getting stuff ready to rock and roll, on our email systems, on email services, trying to help people get things rock and roll in. And there's just there's so much opportunity right now that's going to roll in to make 2020 really special for a lot of people out there. I mean, good looking assets like this single, this a three bedroom, two and a half bath house in Prosper, Texas. I looked at, made an offer on, excited about that one. This one in Katy, Texas. Woo! This is a gorgeous property in Katy, Texas. It's been defaulted by six months. It was like a first payment default. Bar got into it in December, January, and defaulted in February. Either lost her job or went into a, uh, you know, it went into a, um, oh, I can't even think of it, a forbearance agreement. It's painting foreclosure. It's set to foreclose first of the year. And I'm literally just salivating at the price point of what they're doing. Some of my friends that are on here watching went through, we're like, whoa, that is a nice house. So nice. I am thinking about, well, maybe not, but it's like three times the house of what we I live in right now. I mean, I love our house here in Austin. It's beautiful. Stephan and I are very blessed. But when you look at something like that, we were like, whoa, some great, great deals. And you cannot afford to wait if you're watching this, if you're watching this on the replay, you cannot afford to wait to take action out there. So the timing, if you look at the timing of 2020, there's roughly 15 weeks left in the year, okay? 15 weeks left in the year. Come to Houston, Dickie says. <laughs> we might need to talk about that, Dickie, uh, tomorrow or uh, Wednesday once I get, it's been a very hectic day. I'm actually pretty worn out. But there are 15 weeks left in the year ladies and gentlemen, 15 weeks, there's opportunity to take an action of, okay? So let's talk about the 15 weeks, okay? The fourth quarter starts in two weeks. Just over two and a half weeks is the start of October. That's the start of the fourth quarter. And it is literally, I will tell you this, it's going to be like the whole new gold rush. It's going to be the note rush, okay? Now I'm predicting in the fourth quarter when they come out with the numbers, I'm predicting that they're going to show Single family residential default rates are going to climb to 9% or higher greater. They're at 8.22%. The reason they're talking about great time to buy real estate. Yeah, it, 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 all selling all sorts of houses. Yeah, you're selling the high end, but you have the other end. You have the haves and the have nots. The have nots are in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. We all know this. I don't need to beat a dead horse, but that's the group that is struggling. That sub 400,000, that sub 200,000, that first open, that price point range is what's struggling out there. And that's going to be the worst one, okay? I'm also predicting you're going to see commercial default to continue to climb as they don't get bailed out, as things get worse. You have three options to really monetize and cash in. You've got three options for you. Three options to monetize. One more time. How many? Three, okay? You can either A, get active, be an active investor, calling banks, closing deals, reaching out on LinkedIn, emailing asset managers, Okay, reaching out to the, honestly, I don't think your listing websites like Paperstack or others are going to be around to, to take advantage of this. They're not going to see things for six to 12 months, I think, I don't think for the most part. Because things are moving so fast. Most of the stuff, most of the product is directly at the banks these days. It's not going to fizzle through to a hedge fund or fizzle through to somebody else. If you're waiting around for deals to hit Paperstack or um, whatever it might be, notes direct, you're going to be waiting a while. Okay. The first step is going to be very active, going out and literally hunting and killing your own deals. Okay, you got to be—it's hunting season, everybody. I'm hunting high profit rabbits. I'm—it's rabbit season. I'm hunting a rabbit. Okay, a lot of that rabbits running around here. Okay, now that's the first step: is become the hunter. Second phase does not have to be the hunters, and I get that. You could be a passive investor while you're funding deals, and there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Hey, I'm just going to fund a deal. I don't have the time. I don't have the energy, but I know the opportunity. I want to write a check. I want to fund a couple of deals. I want to jump in a fund. That's great. That's great. That's, that's a beautiful thing to be at. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Some of you are going to be a mixture of both of those and that's totally fine. Some are going to fund some deals for their own profits and joint venture and other deals. Totally fine. I have no problem with that. The third step though, the third option for most people and I'm going to hate to say this, but probably 90% of people are going to fall into this category and do nothing. <laughs> I 
They're going to continue to do, to want. Oh, I should have, could have. I want. I, I want to do this, but I'm too scared to send an email. I want to do this, but I'm too scared to pull the trigger. I want to do this, but I'm just going to be happy in what I'm doing. I'm be happy as a realtor making my three percent as a waiter. I'm gonna be happy as a mortgage broker making my one to three points. Okay, I'm gonna be happy working for the man, even though my job may not be secure. Okay, or I'm just gonna sit here and itch and itch and not do anything. I'm gonna show up. I'm not bashing you. It's just that whichever one of those that you fall into, you have to realize you're in that position because of the decisions that you've made along the way. And if you're scared to death to pull the trigger and take action, I'm sorry. You're not gonna be seen at the beginning of the year feeling good. We have too many educated people, highly educated, over-educated people in the real estate space that go from workshop to workshop to workshop, but can't, honestly, sorry, don't have the huevos to pull the trigger to write an email, to pick up the phone and make 20 phone calls, even though you live on this thing, everybody, okay? And I'm only saying this because I love each and every one of you. I love it that you come out on Monday night. I love it that you listen to my podcast. I love it that you're on the classes, but I would love you more if you pull the damn trigger and either go to kill you something or go fund you something. I love cheerleaders, but cheerleaders aren't in the game when it comes to it. You don't dominate the fourth quarter by not taking action. And some of you are like, well, it's too late. I, I'm just too old and don't understand. Bullshit. Okay. You can learn every, everything in what we have taught. Everyone is capable of, if you will just take the time to sit down, pull that stinking thinking out of your head and start taking action. And I don't care how old you are, what your background is. You can do this if you will be motivated to do it. Now let's talk about some of the important dates that are upcoming in the fourth quarter. Okay. These are important dates of significance in the note industry. No, these are not workshop dates for the most part. No, they're not conference dates. Most of the conferences that are going on are going to have zero impact on actually buying deals and making, deal, making money for you. I hate to say that. Okay. But, um, NIS, Note Expo, DME, none of those are going to have any impact on your bottom line when it comes to this gold rush that we're seeing right now, okay? Wednesday, September 30th, that's the Wednesday following our next workshop. We're doing a Calling Banks Blitz. Ooh, that's the same day I have something. We may push that to that Thursday, October 1st, actually. So we may do that Wednesday or Thursday. But anyway, that's the end of next day for Calling Banks Blitz, the call blitz for four to five hours. Tuesday, October 1st. That is the first Tuesday of the fourth quarter, okay? That's the first Tuesday. Also keep in mind of first Tuesday, Texas, when all the tax foreclosures. But you don't have anything happening there because we're on a foreclosure moratorium, okay? But it's the first Tuesday of the fourth quarter where well, the banks are now gonna be evaluating and know what their numbers have to say to get it. And here's the big thing. Banks have roughly a 30-day time window to submit their previous quarter's numbers to the FDIC, okay? And that's the important number on here. Monday, November 2nd, okay? That's the fourth quarter FDIC call reports are due. That's when they've got to be in. They've got 30 days from the, you know, from the start of the quarter to get their numbers in to the FDIC. And that's when Bauer Financial comes out with a new list roughly around that same time frame. But then we'll see how bad has it gotten. How much in reserves have the big four put aside? How many more billions in dollars do we think that the banks are going to lose? And that number, remember, last quarter, $32 billion in reserves set at almost a brand new record <coughs> from banks on the commercial side. All right? I have that date circled on my calendar because that's when it's due. You're going to start seeing a whole lot of stuff coming out. Now, number 23rd to 27th. That's Thanksgiving week. That's a dead week, really, in the note business, okay? Because a lot of people, Thursdays, Thanksgiving, people don't all work Wednesday. Fridays, Black Friday, they're not going to really be in the offices. So from like basically Wednesday, Thursday, you might get something on Monday, Tuesday, but it's not a good week to market. It's basically a dead week. As the banks get ready in that last week, the last few days of November, rolling in December, okay? They're prepping for what December is gonna look like, okay? Now, December 15th, that's when the eviction or closure moratorium ends by the executive order in most states out there across the country. That's when you're gonna see, all right, moving to January, uh, 
15th, that's less, I mean, that's under 21 days in Texas. So this case we push to a February foreclosure date for the most part. Thursday, December 24th is Christmas Eve. If you can fund before then or get your wire in and the deals are closing, that's a bonus. Okay. Wednesday, December 30th, I predict this being the last day to close. It's really the truly last business day. Now, yes, Thursday, December 31st, but a lot of banks don't want you to close to be wiring in on the Thursday because if you wire in and it shows up after four, it goes to the next year. So they're going to want their wires and things to be in by the December 30th. And I put that as a hint, hint, because as you're talking to bankers and they send you a list and you're making offers, you're going through due diligence or what stuff like that, that's the drop dead date really to get a discount. You'll also see a lot of other deals that if you can close by the 30th or the 24th, you'll get a better deal. If it goes into next year, discounts off, we reset some things, we push it to the next quarter. Okay. Tuesday, January 5th, that's the first Tuesday in Texas. That's when I foresee we'll see a lot of foreclosures that have been delayed and pushed back. Here in Texas, obviously we have a lot of people here. Texas is obviously where I live. Austin, Houston's our number one market for people listening in. So I put that down to circle your date. You're gonna see a lot of people showing up. If they don't delay things, again, it's going to be at your county courthouse across the, the state, across really Texas, all the counties are going to be huge. I might even show up to the Travis County one, depending on what we see <laughs> taking place. All right. Now let's talk about this. If you, if we're really talking that there's 15 weeks left, there's really, if you're looking at the number of days that you can actually call, there's really only 30 workable days for you to call email. All right, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. There's 30 days of that before we hit December. If you wait around to December and start calling banks, you're probably going to be too late or they'll be too busy to move you to answer your call. They'll probably call you back the first year. That's why it's important for you to be setting that groundwork, that framework right now, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays. As I've said before, pushing up to this, why it's important over the next technically 90 days, you have 30 days left of really workable numbers to get into the 1st of December. Now you break it down, it's roughly about 10 weeks to call. If you can at least send one email out, or one day of calling, okay, making 50 contacts, potentially you've got an opportunity to make 50 contact, 500 contacts between now and then, have more than enough stuff on your books to move. If you look at that, if you send an email out once a week to asset managers, you can hit that 80% of sales comes after the fifth contact. Our whole process saying the first one on Tuesday, and the, the second one on Thursday, to those that didn't open the first one, you've got 10 weeks to get that rock and rolling to roll into December, ladies and gentlemen. You can do this. If you've not done this before, guess what? You still can do this, okay? Now, when you talk about, that's the banking aspect. When you talk about connecting with your database, connecting with your investors, you still have the opportunity to do that. Most people right now are sitting at home and have been twiddling their thumbs watching Netflix or Amazon or whatever, Okay, Disney Prime, <laughs> Still waiting around. You have 10 weeks, same thing, to get your database in line. What I mean by in line, it means reaching out to them, hey, what's going on, how's it going, really to kind of get them invigorated to be ready to really fund some deals and pay attention, not just, hey, touching base, it doesn't mean sales. I'm not talking about sales. I'm talking about if you're gonna be using your database to connect, to buy deals, to help you fund your deals, to sell assets to, that means 10 emails. That could be one email a week to your database to prime up for raising private capital for this big year end push. Okay. So the question I'm going to ask you again, what the hell are you waiting for? It does not take difficult to be. How many of you have a stack of business cards sitting at home there in a shoebox, not doing anything for you, not doing a damn thing except collecting dust? Everybody raises their hand because everybody does. There's only been one person, honestly, in what there's only been one person that I've ever seen that has done an amazing job putting their database together. And it's Dickie Baldwin. Dickie's done an amazing job putting his database together from all the contexts he's had over 40 years. Never seen a better person do it. Okay. Kudos to Dickie. Big big round of applause to our buddy Dickie Baldwin. Where's the there we go? Applause in here. Okay. You've still got to reach out and contact people and start getting the work. Because honestly, everybody, this is the time of year that people are fine with email blasts, like, oh, you know, they're getting those letters. They're getting those you know, postcards. Happy Thanksgiving, happy Halloween, Merry Christmas, happy Kwanzaa, uh, happy Hanukkah, happy New Year's. 
you've never had a better time to start sending an email blast out your database to prime the pump to really lead into a good fourth quarter and into 2021. It's hard to believe that we're not 95 days out or 115 days out um, from Christmas. So you can start reaching out to your database, start doing a Facebook Live, start doing a weekly post, okay? I would do more than once a week on your posts, but as far as an email blast out, you've got really 10 weeks to get everything rocking and rolling before you, as you roll into the holidays to make people ready to work. Because literally, when you get to like the middle of December, people shut down, whereas banks don't shut down, but your traditional other people, they shut down. They're going to Christmas parties, they're getting drunk on their eggnog, you know, they're going to Christmas parties and, and uh, taking pictures of their ass, whatever it might be, or their faces against the machine. You know, we all seen that, okay? Oh, we'll do it next year. We'll do it next year. Oh, yeah, great. You've got to prime that pump and start pressing forward. Because if you keep waiting around and waiting around to send an email, I gotta, I'm going to wait to talk to my friend. Don't quit waiting. What the hell are you waiting for? Start those conversations today. Otherwise, you're going to get a lump of coal for Christmas. And I know that is just a future diamond in waiting. And you can tell yourself, I'm a piece of coal. I just need more pressure and I can be a, turn into a beautiful diamond. You know what? The pressure is on you right now, ladies and gentlemen. You don't want to get lump of coal for Christmas. You want that diamond ring, baby. You want to ring that victory bell in the fourth quarter. You want to raise that hand up high come the middle of December. Yeah, we're closing some stuff. Woo, I'm getting all excited here. Sorry. <laughs> I give myself a migraine. But that's what I'm trying to get at. I am excited because the things I'm already seeing, I wish you could see. I wish you could take, take notice if you just start taking activity, if you just start putting things in freaking place, get things done. And we are seeing assets. And I just want to highlight some Texas assets because everybody's so excited. These are literally pictures of the assets that we have seen and looked at. Fort Worth, Texas, the Colony, Texas, Prosper, Texas, Katy, Texas. Uh, McKinney up by Dallas, Houston, Texas. That might be the least attractive one on the whole list right there. Another one in Houston, Texas. Another one in Houston, Texas. Another one in Katy, Texas. Uh, and a beautiful one in Sugarland, Texas. And then you got one in Portland, Texas, which is down by Corpus Christi. Or uh, another one in Houston, Texas. Another one in Houston, Texas. Another one in Austin. Okay. Another one. There's another one somewhere here. A million dollar property on the link for I could buy the note on. Okay, there are deals all over the place. Another one up in North Texas and Denton, Texas. That's just a touch, a taste, just a, a waffling. We got 190 assets in, 190 plus non-performing notes in. Uh, last we worked on uh, Thursday and Friday with a couple of uh, one-on-one students. We submitted in 15 bids, a $2 million purchase price. At, I'm not joking, ladies and gentlemen, on stuff. Not just the Texans with Texas stuff. But stuff in other, these are a couple in Maryland. There's some stuff in California. There's some stuff in Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina. And you know what the asset manager says? Eh, 50% of UPB should get the dot, should get it done. And that's why I'm saying, if you've ever been sitting around, well, is it worth my time? F, yes, it's worth your time. It is worth your time to pick up the phone. It's worth your time to jump on LinkedIn and start connecting with asset managers. You don't have to. You can just sit here and say, oh, I'm not going to do it. And that's fine. Go go do something. Go watch Monday Night Football. They got a doubleheader tonight, right? I got rid of cable, so I don't know, okay? But that's what I'm saying. You could sit here and watch Monday Night Football and just he and ha about it, or you could actually do something while you're sitting there, start contacting asset managers. D delegate. Do things twice. Hire your VA. There's so much stuff that you guys can do to find these deals but I see people not doing it, not taking action. And it drives me bonkers because a little bit of activity would go to a long, long way. So what do I say? People say, well, Scott, what do I say to my audience? I can understand what I'm going to say to the bankers. Hey, what do you have on your books? What do you have in your books? What do you have in your books? It's kind of the same thing. What do you have in your books this quarter? What do you have in your books this month? But when he's reaching out to your database, your business cards, the people you've met at Note Camp, or people you met at Note Expo, or people you met at your meetup group, Okay. There are specific things you want to say. And so what I do, uh, you contact the banks. You don't waste your time contacting the lawyers because the lawyer is going to be busy foreclosing or sitting there twiddling thumbs because they know they can't foreclose to the end of the year. You contact the asset managers, Ed. Okay? So the first week email you go out, the first email you says, hello, how are you? Won't you tell me your name? I'm just joking. Hello, 
how are you? I would like to connect, okay? That's the first email in a 10-week email series. How are you? Hello, how are you? Short, sweet, two, three paragraphs. Basically, you can fit on one screen, one and a half screens. You don't need to get diary of the mouth. Just hello, how are you? This is what I'm doing. Week number two, something simple there. Hey, you share an article, a little bit about what you're doing, stats. Hey, did you see the thing? Numbers came out for this much. Or hey, here's an article on Housing Wire, DS News. Just want to make sure you're aware of this. Week three, a case study, a previous deal that you've done, a fix or flip, a rental, a wholesale deal, an option, a note deal preferably, or somebody else's case study that they've done, okay? That's the week three, very simple. Hey, here's a deal that I did last year. Here's a deal I did six months ago. Here's a deal, here's my first deal. Here's how I turned 10, 100 bucks into 40 grand, okay? Week four, another stat or article. You're gonna get, be getting into the middle of October about this time, okay? It's another stat article, Housing Wire, DS News, USA Today, whatever it might be, okay? Uh, five, a little bit more about what we do because this is the fifth email, 80% of contact, uh, sorry, 80% of sales comes after the fifth contact. This is the fifth contact. Hey guys, just wanted to let you know, we, you probably had a little bit of an idea that I've been a real estate investor over the last few weeks, but here's specifically what I do, okay? I'm by debt. I'm the big short in a smaller, smaller, shorter fashion, okay? What we do, very short, very sweet, may want to include a video with that. Six rolls into roughly Halloween at that point, okay? Right before Halloween, hey, trick or treat. Are, you, are your, is your investment naughty or nice? Okay, week seven. Hello, November. Hello. Hello. Is it deals you're looking for? Because you can talk about the numbers. Hey, what do the default rates look like? Do the numbers get better or do they get worse? What are we looking at in the state? Okay, if you go to any of my like top, Note Nation top 40 cities, I gave some specific websites on there that you can pull recent numbers, okay? Week eight, a case study. Hey, here's what we, a deal we did last year. Here's a deal that we did as we roll into the fourth quarter. Okay, the reason you wanna give case studies or deals that you're working on is you wanna get them primed. You wanna, hey, that's a pretty good deal. Or hey, I, want, I need to do something, okay? Week nine, stats are an article again. Hey, here's a great article I thought you might find interest. If you see something, you're willing to share it, take the time and send an email out to your database, okay? Don't just post the article. I saw, I was talking to a guy today, he's like, yeah, I post these articles, but nobody responds. I'm like, your articles are the same damn thing. You're not giving any commentary. It's, you're, re you're referring to an article that somebody else wrote, but you're not giving your opinion. Oh, thank you for sharing, Laura. Thank you for sharing, Jeff. Thank you for sharing, Bill. What the hell's the article got to do with me, okay? Sorry, my voice is getting a little overclumped here. Talk amongst yourselves. Rhode Island, neither a road nor an island, okay? Ah, feeling goofy. Week 10, happy Thanksgiving. Are you happy? Are you rejoiceful? Okay, that's week 10, but that's not the end of the year. Week 11, hello, December. Woohoo! You ready for the end of the year? You ready for those credit card bills? Are you ready to pay for your mortgage or are you not paying for your mortgage? Week 12, why don't you invest in the gift that keeps on giving? No, that's not a trip to Vegas. <laughs> that could be a performing note. The gift that keeps on giving, buying notes. Week 13 could be the end of the year planning. Week 14, another case study. Week 15, Merry freaking Christmas. Happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, whatever it might be. But that could be your technically your week 10, 15 to get them primed up to share case studies and what you're doing, a video talking about your business. That's what you should do. And we're talking, this takes literally less than an hour a week for you guys to do. Yes, Scott, I'm brand new. Yeah, if you're brand new, it's gonna take you longer, but you gotta spend some time on there. If you have to go get a brand new MailChimp account, you need to start putting in a little bit of database and start emailing them out immediately. Not a whole upload 5,000 people when you get it shut down on you. To start, I talk to people, one of the big things that when I, you know, done, I talk to people, but I'm always surprised at the little amount of activity people send an email. Well, I don't want to bother people. I always went send an email once a month. Nobody's going to freaking recognize you once a month. Once a week, send it out Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. your time zone. But this is the things that the successful people are doing, and this is what we have planned. I am showing and opening up the kimono to you guys. Okay, these is what we're going. This, these is what we be doing. All right, this is what's going out to my investor database, my warm contacts, not my real estate investors. Most of you guys probably won't even see this because you're not on that list. 
but I've got a different database that I send out to. I mean, I got 100,000 people in a database plus, okay? Investors, contacts from all across the country. This is the plan of what we're doing. Now, if you really want to dominate the fourth quarter, are there any questions about that so far? Okay? Any questions? So you talk about 10 weeks to really get your asset managers up, and same thing. At the same time, you're sending an email out to asset managers, you're also, or pick up the phone and call and reach out on LinkedIn, but then also once a week, send an email out to your database. This is not anything difficult. Look, a monkey could do this, and most of you are smarter than a monkey, okay? Most of you. I know I'm not. I got that chimpanzee's got me beat on my IQ, all right? But what I'm trying to get is, if you are really an investor, this is what's going to separate the men from the boys, the ladies from the girls, okay? And it is up to you of whether you want to cash in and be ringing that victory bell come December 31st and New Year's Eve, having a bottle of bubbly like Dom Perignon or some Andre. We all know what we like better. Don't get me wrong, Andre's not bad, but we want some good champagne to celebrate that, hey, 2020 is done and you've got a lot of momentum, you've made some stuff happen, and I trust me with this, there's plenty to go around. For some of you, it's getting that first deal done, okay? Some of you, I need to get 10 deals done. For some of you, I, you've had a bad year, a bad two years, or had just shit happen to you, and that's okay. Guess what? Welcome to the club. It's called life. But you have the opportunity to be reinvigorated and realize if you work hard these next 90 days, you can erase a lot of those mistakes. You can erase a lot of those bad things and really be able to start over or really put yourself up at an opportunity. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I don't sit here on Monday nights from the podcast and I, I, I say these things to each and every one of you because I believe in each and every one of you. I've seen too many people that came from nothing or really negative and do well. For those of you that have something that came from good backgrounds, there's no excuses that why you can't exponentially explode things. And I've been talking about the fourth quarter, the fourth quarter, the fourth quarter. Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen, it is here and that bell is a ringing. Okay. It is game time for all of you. Okay. Now somebody asked me, how do we, do we contact the attorneys or the bank or who do we do? No, you're going to contact the asset managers. If you've never done that before, then you may need to take out and look at our class. It's coming up September 25th through the 27th. We've got some really cool things. I think you might, might want to stick around for it. It's our next virtual note buying for dummies workshop. It's five 99 for you and a spouse. It's the 25th through the 27th. Uh, this time around, and it's exclusive to this one. If you signed up and went through June or something before that, hey, we've got an opportunity for you to take advantage of some of the cool bonuses going on in here too, but it's different, okay? Uh, what's covered in the virtual workshop? Friday, we'll talk about finding notes and contacting asset managers. We'll give you the script. Saturday, about raising capital and marketing deals, showing how we do it. Sunday, we'll go through exit strategies and due diligence. They're sprinkled in a long way. We'll have different vendors coming in talking about and sharing what they do and why they're important and why you need to have them on your team of experts out there. Uh, the replays are included, okay? We're also throwing in a four-week coaching call, all right? If you're signed up uh, for the note buying for dummies for September, you've signed up after June, guess what? You've got this four-week coaching call thrown in with you, okay? We're gonna throw in also our next three months of calling banks, our one-day call blitzes, October, September, October, November, we're including those. That's 59 bucks a piece is roughly about $180 value with those three thrown in where I'm calling banks for four to five hours. Um, if you're signing up for the virtual workshop, guess what? We'll throw in a ticket to, uh, sorry, that's the wrong date. It's actually in October. Um, Merrill's boot camp, Merrill Get Fundables online boot camp for October. You get a $97 seat for that. It's an online two day course. We'll also throw in the ticket to Magnify Your Wealth. And it's not in San Diego, it may be in uh, Denver now or it's virtual. That's October 15th to 17th. That's a $3.99 value as well for you and a spouse. We'll throw that in there, okay? We'll also, if you've signed up for it, if you've done this in the past couple of days, great. If you're going to sign up for it, we'll also throw in 500 IRA investors in your county of your choice that have at least 150 grand or more in their accounts. We are able to pull this information. We'll guarantee that the emails work and we'll show you exactly how to tap into them and contact them and market to them to pay attention to what you're doing, okay? You can go to sign up right now at notebindfordummies.com at $5.99, that's good for you and a spouse, okay? You and a business partner to sign up. It's online, it's delivered via Zoom, three days, 
Um, we want you to be a part of that. We have a lot of great goodies that are going along with that as well, too. So let's talk about this four-week pre- and post-coaching, this four-week coaching plan. We're doing two weeks before. That's actually next. The first one is next Wednesday. No, first one is this Wednesday in two days. Sorry. First week of coaching calls on this pre-workshop because we're two weeks out is this Wednesday. Okay, we'll be talking about identifying goals, getting your ducks in a row, where to start focusing, depending on how many time, how much time you have, how many deals you need to close to get where you want to be in the next six to 12 to 18 months, and how many offers you got to make. Okay, we'll also start talking about getting into market. We'll not just start talking about, we'll actually guys have you set it up. It is on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. It's a live call, hour, two hours. Okay. We'll have you get started with raising capital and getting started with marketing. Literally, which you signed up now so I can get these IRA leads to you. So here the week before the class, you have an email going out to a database of investors that A, have money to invest with. Okay. That's a novel idea, right? We're talking about that. Um, the two weeks after the workshop, okay, the Wednesday after the workshop, um, we'll have probably that we'll have a call blitz, the call in banks blitz. If that's like that's September 30th, that'll be International Podcast Day. So no, the Monday, the Thursday after the class, busy, busy time. Okay, will be a calling ball, calling banks blitz on that Thursday. All right, that's one thing. The coaching call that night, Wednesday night, we will have. We'll talk about getting deals direct from the banks, who to target, how to target. Okay. We'll talk about closing deals before year end, how to set the stuff up, whether you're going to wholesale it and flip it to somebody else, which you could do that, or taking the deal down yourself and how to identify the best deals on the tapes you're going to get and get rocking and rolling. Now we have something a little bit different. We have a dedicated Facebook group we just set up today for this group of attendees and for this four week coaching calls. And we're doing something fun too. We've got some challenges we're going to do along the way. Uh, we're going to gamify it. We're going to give you some rankings and get some bonuses. And there's going to be some special bonuses for those that complete the homework because there will be homework every week that you need to do to get things done along the way to make it because this is going to build on each other. Next week is one week. Next week after that is another week that builds upon itself. That leads into the class for three days. That's going to build upon itself. After that, you have a coaching call. All right. And you also then also have calling banks that build, builds upon itself. My goal is to prepare you better than I ever have done before in the Q4, okay? It's not our one-on-one -on -one coaching. I will not be giving you a list of asset managers. I will not be holding your hand to set the MailChimp up. But what I will do is I will give you everything. You'll be able to see me walk you through this and go for. And then here's the big thing. Inside of this group, I am committed to be sharing tapes that we get and different new contacts that we get. I asked something on the Note Nation thing. Hey, if we could find contacts, would you be interested in being a part of a group like that? And that's where we're coming. As we get these new contacts and new tapes in, we'll be sharing them with this group that you guys can, that are putting in the work, can, get, get, can really monetize your time, okay? Maybe you are reaching out banks, you're not getting any tapes in, but lo and behold, Jimmy or Patrick or Desi have got a tape in from an asset manager that they can share with a group to work through. Hey, here's, you mind if I use this as a case study? Or hey, can I make an offer on that tape, okay? Really, really excited about this, everybody. Okay, so who is eligible to be a part of this? Well, those that signed up for the September virtual workshop, whether you signed up after the last one or in the next couple of weeks, if you signed up for the note buying blueprint in the last two months, yes, you're part of that as well, okay? Um, those that have signed up, like I said, since for the blueprint since June 24th or the virtual workshop since June 24th, this is a bonus. Some of you guys signed up for the Labor Day bonus. Some of you guys have been through note weekend and signed up and got an extra discount off because you had that bonus ticket from note weekend. Guess what? You get to be a part of this if you sign up for it. Active WCN crew members, those that are paying 97 a month, get automatically included in all this. Okay, you get the workshop, um, you get coming in and spending four, the four, day, uh, four coaching calls a part of the group, you're part of that. Okay, so if you have not signed up for the class, that would be the first thing I would sign up for at the 599. It's a three day class, the replays, the special bonuses. Do that, or you can just sign up for the WCN crew at 97 a month. Get access to the class, but you're not going to get the bonuses to the Get Fundable or the Laughlin or some of the other stuff. Okay, you do get access to the class and the four weeks, but you're not going to get the bonuses included with it. So, if your first time through, great. Sign up for the Note Buying for Dummies workshop for you and your spouse would be the most valuable thing. If you've already been through it before, and you're like, well, Scott, I went through the June one. Well, then sign up for the WCN crew at 97 a month. Okay.
And those are the websites for you. No buying for dummies.com or the WCN membership.com. I want to open it up right now, guys. Um, um, yeah, get, give me a phone call. All right. Ask any questions that you have. And I'm glad to help answer any questions for you all. Okay. Let's see who's all on here tonight. Ed, Angel, good to see some of you guys. Art, Bill, good to see you, buddy. Cometa, Chanty, Dicky, Doug, Aaron, Gerald, Joe, Rich, John. Awesome. Glad to have you guys on here tonight. All right. What questions do you have? I'm here to answer these questions, everybody. I want you to take advantage of what's going on. It's an amazing time of the year to be a part of this. You can really change. If you guys are sitting there struggling and like, well, 2020 has been just a shitty thing, just giving up. You can do that and sit here and cry in your milk and the situation is not going to get any better for you come January. Or you can act now and dive into it, start taking action on what's going on for you guys right now. Love to have you be a part of it. If you're part of the WC crew, we got some WC crew members on there, Joe and Rich, Bill, some of you guys out there as well, $97 a month. Guess what? Boom. We'll see you guys. You'll get an uh, email blast for you guys or a link into the base camp group just for you guys out there as well. So I want to open up for any questions, comments, concerns before we let you guys go this Monday evening, everybody. We've gotten some great deals on what's floating around there. No buying for dummies.com will get you signed up with all the bonuses for the workshop. If you've already been through a virtual workshop before, then just sign up for the WCN crew membership. Okay. If you don't like to, here's the thing. I always put this, if you go through the first day of the virtual workshop, you're like, this is not for me. Guess what? I'll refund your money back. I don't care. I'm glad to refund your money back for you guys. If it's not for you, I promise you, Guess what, ladies and gentlemen, it's some good stuff for you. And we are revamping the manual, been working on that, revamping um, the training to be more, not more, but to take of opportunities of what's going on in the market right now, more so than anything else, okay? Thanks, Dickie, appreciate it. Dickie will be speaking at the virtual no buying workshop as well, some of the things he's seen, okay? We're gonna have uh, Joel Markovitz, we're going to have Shante Duffy. We're going to have Michael Jimenez coming back from exchange.loans talking about the commercial asset space. Um, I reached out to Brett Palumbo. He's checking his schedule, see if he can make it. He's got some stuff going on with the kids, stuff like that. But we've got a really good lineup for the three-day. No, it's not a pitch fest. Uh, Merrill will speak there. Aaron will speak there. Some great stuff there. Should we be getting the bankers lineup as well as the investors to get the pump, pumping of the new year? What is a good way to lead the investors? IRA and conversation about that. Donald, okay, so it's like we said before, so, so we should be getting the bankers lined up. It's the same thing. Remember we talked about this, Donald, last week? Hey, take your database, take your business cards and start reaching out to them. Start that email blast. Start working on that MailChimp. Same thing. Start talking a little about what you're doing. You've just transitioned. You're semi-retired. You're working to bring Vanessa home. That would be a great starting point. Okay, Donald? Same thing. Hey guys, I'm a local. That's why we talk about investors in your local area. I just wanted to reach out some some local investors in our neck of the woods. I'm I'm Donald. I'm an investor here in the Maryland area, looking to buy assets. I'm a little obviously retired and looking to be more active and have a bigger, better control of what my IRA and my retirement's doing account. That's why we're going through this. We're going to literally prime the pump on these Wednesday workshops. I got an itinerary lined up. What we're going to cover. And just to touch base, you and I talked a little bit this last week about it. We got some more good stuff going on. So thanks for asking that. But to really prime up your investors, it's literally going back and setting up like this schedule. I said the whole 10, 15 week schedule of emails on a, week, a regular basis, weekly basis. Kenneth Wiley, okay. What's interesting about real estate deals is that based on the situation and the spreads, there are deals that are better if you lack emotional maturity and other deals where you have emotional maturity, you're good to go. And also there's lots of positions and profit potential compensation, potentially ranging from four figures up to nine figures for residential per deal, then depending on the volume of deal close practice. So, or team, you can make this an actual career. Yes, it is. That's correct, Ken. You totally can. If you put the things in place, it all starts with having enough deals. And right now the deal flow comes directly from the banks and the bank asset managers. That's why we call this note buying for dummies. I'm going to show you at the end of, 
uh, at the very first of day one there, how to pull a list of asset managers, over 3,000 asset managers that you can reach out to on a regular basis to start contacting, to start sending you deals, okay? You don't have to do direct mail campaigns. You don't have to dial for dollars you don't want to. There's some things you can do to literally start having banks sending stuff out there. So good stuff. Thanks, Kenneth. Yeah. In the comments, questions, concerns? Love for you guys to be a part of this. All right. Love for you to be a part of it. Good stuff. Donald says, got it. Thanks. Got some good feedback from one of the fund managers coming up uh, on deals coming up in October. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Scotty feeds you. You're going to get some good stuff done. All right? <laughs> yeah. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I have for you tonight. Hopefully, once again, get signed up at notebuying for dummies.com. It's for the three-day workshop. It includes the bonuses. If you've already been through a previous one, you want to be a part of this, you can sign up for the WCN crew membership at 97 a month and get rocking at wcnmembership.com. All right? Look forward to seeing you all this Wednesday night in the first coaching call. Otherwise, have a great evening, and we'll see you all at the top, ladies and gentlemen.